my professor told me to take a deep breath. College is awesome. Honestly, there's nothing like it. You live on a campus or near one where everyone around you is your contemporary. There is even a dividing line, or in our case, two bridges, that literally separates the academic side from the residential. College is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that I'm so grateful to have shared here at the University of Hartford. Although our days of walking to class over the bridges, taking exams, and waking up early for our morning classes is over, we don't stop going to school once we graduate. Educating ourselves has not ended. In fact, it has just begun. Only now, thanks to our experience here at UHart, we have the tools we need to keep learning. Being a student is something that continues long after today's graduation. We will be lucky indeed if, if each day after today presents us with new, interesting learning experiences similar to what we had here. I would never have believed this a mere four years ago. To be candid, schoolwork held little interest for me in high school unless I loved the subject or the teacher. It was difficult for me to feel motivated. But then something happened here on this campus. As a result of the continued interest, encouragement, and faith in me shown by my professors and counselors, I discovered how satisfying it is to learn, to understand something new, to explain it in an essay or a presentation, to debate and discuss, and then to be rewarded not only with good grades, but with the respect and friendship of my fellow students. As classmates, we saw that the world opened, not just outside of UHart, but within it as well. The University of Hartford has taught me a lot about myself, both in and outside of the classroom. It has been an exciting and challenging journey that has led us here today. Like all of you, our parents, whether individually or together, were with us on this journey. We may have said we didn't want them to come along, but I believe we're happy that they ignored our comments. I know that I would never have made it here were it not for the awesome dedication of my mother who raised me and my two brothers single-handedly. Thank you, Mom. And thank you to all of our parents for being here and supporting us on this journey. In addition to my classmates and the academic staff that made so much of today possible, we shouldn't forget the administrative folks that work behind the scenes on our behalf. Leaving home and entering accommodation facilities that were different in the August of 2011 was quite scary, as was figuring out our financial aid issues, parking, and most important of all, our meal plans. I was so grateful to always receive information when I needed it, no matter what the issue was or when. And a special shout out to Public Safety, who was always there, even if all that was needed was a ride back to our apartment because the weather was cold, which was all of winter. Campus can be frightening in those early days when it's dark, still somewhat unknown, and we haven't yet made our friends. And especially, as you all remember, we began our U-Heart journey accompanied by Hurricane Irene, quite an eventful start to our freshman year. And who could forget that auspicious occasion when a sitting president came to campus? Barack Obama was here in our sophomore year to talk about a subject close to his heart. With all of the state and local police cars, horses, weapons, armed vehicles, and the Secret Service, our campus never felt so safe. And now we are graduating seniors, soon to be alumni. It's both a sad, scary, and joyous day. Sad because our time at this wonderful campus, our home away from home, is over. Scary because we don't know what's out there in terms of opportunities. And joyous because it's the beginning of our next chapter. We might be wearing identical caps and gowns, but look around you, and I guarantee that here on our campus, we will, we, we, will, we, <laughs> we all have something unique about us, a key characteristic that truly represents us as individuals, a defining trait that will ultimately set us apart and lead us to our goals. I encourage you all to find that trait deep within yourselves, celebrate it, and use it as courage to make the world a better place. Thank you, now let's give it up for the class of 2015.